Welcome back to another episode of Uncharted Drake's Fortune. This is part three. We're going to be trying to escape from the drowned city. And uh, I'm sure we will. And then whatever else is beyond that. Rumor has it there's 22 chapters in this game. We are going to be starting eight at the beginning of this. Pretty nuts. But it says we're 47% done. So I imagine there's going to be some fast chapters. Um, did I call them missions? I don't know. I'm calling them chapters. From here on out. I've been, uh, I've been enjoying the ride. It's been a good time. Music is bumping. Let's not waste any time. Let's jump right into the drowned city. But first, a word from our sponsor. D's nuts. Here we go. <laughs> the drowned city, bitches. <laughs> Oh, that's stupid. That's stupid. Edit that out. Someone cut that. I'm stalling because I think we're going to be getting shot at right away. They just keep coming. Actually, I think there is a company called God D's sake. Nuts. Oh, okay, it's... Away. Okay, what the fuck, man? Where are they shooting from? Not going to lie to you, didn't see that guy. Yeah, let me know if the stream is looking good. We don't have a lot of time to uh, test it. Is that a body? That's our car. Stream looks good. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, and the action has just started. Have done that, son. Here we go. And yeah, we left off with quite the cliffhanger, jumping into this water. And I, I didn't want to stop playing, but it's one of those things where you just have to be an adult sometimes. I didn't want to be one. Oh. Okay. None left, so we're gonna pick back up our pistol, if, if unless she stole it. Did she forget to steal it? Um, I'm a little sketched out by this. Hold on. There's my pistol. I gotta turn this up my end a little bit. Everything sound good? Oh. Ammo, moss 12. Look at that guy's belly. Hey, look, they really did it. How do they do with the bullet? No, not in this game. Too much money. Well, clearly we're going to button mash that. What's up? Is it 17 years old? Yeah. This game can graduate next year. I mean, vote. Graduate. Yeah, 2007, right? Apparently, that's what I think. 2007. Well, the and the remaster is obviously later. Well, I don't know anymore. All right, all right, all right. I'm looking for shinies. I'm trying to focus up. Uh, did I just see a shiny? I don't have you watching, babe. Just tell me when you see a shiny. Go, Elena. Yeah, I'm glad to have an AK back. Jet skis. This is a big mistake. <laughs> no kidding. Love you. You know I should have turned before the bridge. It's very funny. Oh, come here a minute. I want to show you something. That thing still works? Uh-huh. Check this out. Okay, see this building in the harbor? That's where all the boats coming into the colony would have unloaded their cargo. So if the El Dorado treasure came to this island, it would have had to have come through here. Hmm. Wait a minute, what? What was that? What? Rewind it. Yeah? Wait, stop. Uh-huh. Right there. That's our ticket out of here. Come on. Our ticket out of here? Are you giving up? Maybe you hadn't noticed, but we're kind of outnumbered. <sighs> we're doing fine so far. Oh, Lord. Elena, I don't need your bullet-riddled corpse on my conscience. Let's go. Oh, please. You quit if you want to, but don't use me as an excuse. <laughs> fine. It's me, okay? I am quitting. Are you coming or not? So that's it. You're just gonna forget about the treasure and forget about Drake? <laughs> 
God damn it, this is not worth dying over. Okay. Okay. Listen, either way, we have to head back to the harbor. Don't worry about it. We can argue about it later. It'll be great. Wait. This time, I drive. Okay. Right. Yeah, I was thinking Nathan drove us off a cliff, but during the Jeep and Gunner scene, chapter frying of the pan or something. That could be wrong. I was gunning, and she, and, uh, she was driving. Hold X or R1 to accelerate. I don't get it. How does a okay, R1, hold circle or square to break and reverse. Oh, shit. This looks bad. I should probably should. Yeah, I had a bad feeling. I'm so sorry, Elena. Let's drive to the left. You drive. All right, let's try this again. So we're going to want to avoid the barrels. What the fuck? Okay. Maybe they do want me to slow down. Can I shoot? Uh, oh, I'm her? Well, that's confusing. Oh, no. I'm me and her. So I'm going to have to clear the way a little bit. No, wait, wait, I'm supposed to also probably shoot them. Oh, this is probably one of the worst... The worst things anyone ever is going to watch in their life. It is a little bit weird to control. Actually, I can't... I'm dead. No, I'm dead. Checkpoint? This sucks. Okay. All right. All right. I can do this. I can do this. Should I be trying to kill them? Like, is that something I should be setting myself up for? Oh, dude, this is not a shotgun. This is a grenade launcher. What happened in this place? Not gonna lie to you, that just kind of hit me a little bit. So I should just. We can make this easy. Kill the guys I see. Take my time. Is this overkill? I don't know. But I'm gonna be better safe than sorry this go around. This is awesome. Now that I kinda understand what the hell I'm doing, to a degree. Oh shit! Who's shooting? I can't see them. I'm getting shot. Where? I'll just shoot in that general direction. It's about how far I got last time before I died. How are we doing? Maybe this is how they intended me to do this. I wasn't sure. I was just going to be rushing through. Alright. Direct shot. This feels so wrong. But I'm at, I have a PB right now. <laughs> Uncharted personal this. Oh, what's up, Craig? How you doing there? Good to see you. Um, <laughs> how am I uh, liking this? I really do like it. I just there suck at is. it. Yeah, but that's find a way in. pretty typical. You know, Part one's not working very well. Inca treasure. You don't suppose that... Please don't tell me you believe in that stuff. I'm just saying. Something bad happened here. The whole colony doesn't just up and vanish. <laughs> yeah. Well, how do you explain it? 
Yes, sir. I'm glad you can make it too. So Craig has been playing a lot of uh, Souls games. If, uh, he subbed to me on YouTube. Or not Souls games, but Souls likes. He's a wolong long beast. Okay, so now I can focus here. During the little talk scene, they shut down my, my engine, it would appear. I think I need to find a way in. But yeah, a more elaborate answer in between the mist of chaos here is I do really enjoy this game. It's, <laughs> I love how like they show how much, okay, hold on, square. It's showing its age a little bit, but I love the, I mean, the graphics are good. The gameplay is pretty solid. It's a little bit, here we go. We're going to dock right here, I bet. You can tell that it's it was more of a proof of concept at the time. But I never played the Uncharted series. I'm happy to finally like, sit down and just play it. Looks like that cable would get us up there. Let's go check it out. I'll stay here and keep an eye on our ride. See if you can figure a way to get us to that tower. Yeah, really, it does. I'm impressed. Honestly, it's one of the first thing I noticed. And this is a remaster, to be fair, of, I believe, to be a 2007 game. Uh, shit. That didn't take long. But again, a lot of the sequences is like, shoot enemy, next wave of enemy. Shoot enemy, next wave. And then it's like, all right, puzzle. Which I am enjoying, but you can tell it was a more simple time. And, and I'll be honest with you, aiming on the, the joystick, a little rough. For me. <laughs> Never played it yourself, living vicariously through me, huh? Yep, yep, I do that with uh, some streamers as well. Well, hopefully you can live vicariously with better aim. It, I take, it takes me a little bit to get warmed up, but you can tell it wasn't as refined. It's partially me. I will say though, the puzzles, <laughs> there's been a few puzzles that have like kind of stumped me for a little bit, which I like. I do like puzzle games, uh, but it, I, I was looking forward to that aspect. It's Tomb Raider-esque, you know, action, uh-oh, action to puzzle, oh god. Headshots is the name of the game, shooting barrels is the name of the game. From what I can tell so far. Uh, but they also hide collectibles. Oh, shit. Pretty generous with ammo drops. Wow. That actually scared me. Um, at least on the normal difficulty. Okay, that is not a sniper. It might be a sniper, but I think it's a grenade launcher. There's been a ringing in my ear when that shot went by me in-game. And it, it really felt like someone just shot a loud, I believe to be a grenade launcher, past my ear. Okay, let's get some more ammo. See, these do say caution. I wonder if they'll blow up or if that's just design. Uh, collectibles is another thing they like to do. They like to hide collectibles. They give off a little shiny spark or like a, like a flint or something. So... I do try to take my time. They don't mean anything though. From what I can tell, it's just kind of like something. But Uncharted 4 was great. Puzzles were awesome in that one. Some of the best of any game in my opinion. Damn, that's very high praise. So yeah, I, I, yeah, I plan on doing one through three and then I actually bought, I think it's called the Lost Legacy or Lost the Lost Thieves collection, where it's Uncharted 4 and the, uh, the Lost Legacy standalone game. Uh, bundled together kind of like how they bundled this collection one through three so they did four and lost legacy i got that on pc so i'm very much looking forward to playing that in its beautiful graphics um but yeah i've only heard like fantastic things about uncharted 4 i haven't heard anything about lost legacy i don't know if you know about that one but it came in a bundle and it was really cheap so i'm like this is great value. See, yeah, M79. This is what he was shooting at me. Actually, I'm not going to shoot it yet. What did I drop? This is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to shoot what I can. 
and then pick back up my AK. And these big guys, I guess, are like your brute style enemy. It appears they can take more bullets. Normal difficulty is nice. It's like right in between. And I can kind of like play a bit more free. Uh, I can't be like dumb reckless. But I can still have a bit of fun. I also love when the camera kind of zooms in like this. Just because of the where I am on the wall. It feels more in tune. Yeah, I played the Lost Legacy 2. Nice. It was an expansion on 4. Played it pretty short, but expanded the story of one of the characters in 4. I see. I like it. Hey, more Uncharted-esque gameplay is fine with me. That's good to know, though. This gun, the West 44, is like your typical 44 Magnum. The issue is that it's always not a lot of bullets. Yeah. I booted it up to test it, like you know, you know, to stress test it on my PC. Man, the graphics. The graphics look really good. I only did Lost Legacy, but I, I just did like ten minutes of the intro to make sure that I could uh, record and play it, see if the PC could handle it. Handles it just fine. There's this little flash I'm telling you about. Boom. Silver Frog. And really, I don't know anything about it besides just pick it up and, and do it. But from what I kind of saw and played. It's reminding me of exactly what I'm doing now. But I turned it off before I could spoil myself. The pains. The pains of a blind playthrough. I gotta save it. Okay. I guess I found the one collectible here. I am greatly looking forward to it. This game is, is so far, it's been like every chapter, it flows so nicely into the next chapter that I want to keep playing. Like last stream, I had to... I had to stop. I was like, look, I have to pause this right here. So they do really good with the whole cliffhanger thing. Okay, I see what we're doing here. We're going to get into some parkour now. Maybe. I think we're going to make this jump. And the, uh, this is awkward. No, 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 no. Buddy? No, I hit the wrong button. Hit circle. Circle is drop. Good to know. Good to know. Yeah. Uh, you always test before streaming PC games. Console games are more reliable out of the box, 100%. I don't know how you record and stream your console games, but I imagine you use a capture card like in your PC. Um, and that's how I do it. So, yeah, all the stress is on, you know, on the console itself. While your PC, obviously, is just doing the, like, encoding... And sending out. I love that. But I built a much better PC lately. So like there's been so many games where I have to tell myself. Don't double buy it. Just just play what you have on console. And buy new games on PC. Because you get into this like. It's so much better on PC mindset. And all I want to do is. Play them on PC. Like Resident Evil 4 for example. I'm going to be playing that like come. I call it spooky season. Chapter 9 to the tower. But I own it on PS5. And it'll look good. It'll look great. And it'll play great. But man, I want to like play it on PC. Just because I have a 1440p machine now. And that's just what I want to do. Okay, hold on. I always struggle to find these guys for a second. Yeah, I run it through an encoder through the PC. Yep. That's the way. Didn't he sur <laughs> the the ragdoll physics can be quite funny as well. I'm sure they cleaned it up through time, but there's something so just it makes me feel like I'm a like a kid again during some of these sequences. Like I love it. It just it's old school gaming. Not overly complicated. I love my Neos and Dark Souls, but it requires a whole nother level of patience. I love being able to just kind of relax in these games. 72 hours of Neo before this made me just, it's like taking a vacation almost. Video game style, as weird as that sounds. I feel like, man, I hate when I have a game on PS5 and I can't play my PC or Steam Deck. Yep. All right, these guys are just chilling here. 
yeah, story mode games. And after I do Uncharted, I'm going to do The Last of Us, which I've played many a times, but I never played the second one. But, you know, same developer, same realm of game for the most part. Boom, get wrecked. This just feels good. It's just, it's just nice. The funny part is, the ironic thing about what I'm saying is that I'm playing Neo on PC on the side, and I'm playing Neo on the side on my brother's PS4 whenever I go visit him. There's downtime. Like, I just love that game so much that I can just play it for, for the hell of it. Okay, I'm, I'm trying to make this turn, if you can tell. Do I not like motion blur? Is that what's making my eyes all crazy? I'm really noticing it here. And I really apologize if this menu is loud. Uh, display. What about just objects? I heard just object motions. Motion blur is good. Although I really don't even know what that means. Where do we want to go? Yeah, Uncharted and story mode games is what I call a video game vacation. The, the Last of Us 2 is a noticeable upgrade in nearly every way. It's hard to play the first one after playing the second one. Damn, the mechanics and graphics are that much better. Well, I played the OG. Ah, shoot the chains. The chains. Uh, they're screaming at me because I'm a dingus. Shoot the chains. So yeah, I played the OG. PS3 version of The Last of Us way back in the day. Then I played the remastered. And I've always wanted to try the remake. So I bought the remake for PS5. As I heard it wasn't very good on PC. You've got to get to that tower. I'll meet you back at the customs house. Alright, Elena, I'll see you there. And then I bought I bought the upgrade for Last of Us 2. The remastered. Okay, why are they so close? Alright, this is AK time. This is not good. Yeah, I played that poorly. Let's try that again. First things first is y'all get the nade. Pretty cool sliding mechanic. There we go. Much better. Okay. Why am I clicking triangle? What button is triangle in another game? What am I doing? I tried to play a Dark Souls game for fun, like earlier today, and it felt wrong to click R1 and R2 again. Like Neo and Team, Team Ninja games have made me only want to click square and triangle. Elena says we're gonna meet back at the customs house. So I gotta remember that's the goal. The remastered didn't feel too much different to me. Slightly better graphics and ray tracing. Really like the rogue like when they added. Yeah, I'm playing a roguelike game right now, Returnal on PC, which I played many a oh, times. Oh shit. So I wonder if I'd like that mode. Having never played Last of Us 2 yet and only owning the PS4 copy. I was like, I have to upgrade to the PS5. I like getting the most frames that I can. I'm curious how you are as a gamer, Craig. Are you, do you care about frames? Do you care more about graphics? For me, in a perfect world, like on PC, I'd have high graphics, high frames if I can. Uh, console, I typically choose the higher frame mode. I guess we're jumping in. I feel like I'm missing a collectible back here though. Wow, you you gave up on Returnal and you never give up games. The first the first buy-in was brutal. Yo, so I actually platinum Returnal on PS5. I have like 200 hours probably in that game. And then I recently bought it on PC. As I was saying, I built a new PC, so I wanted to see it in its glorious graphics at the highest settings. And I'm still getting 165 frames, it's crazy. But I wanted to relearn the game on keyboard and mouse and challenge myself. So that's actually a series I'm doing just for fun on the side. 
You could check that out sometime. Maybe you could join that stream and I could give you some tips or something. But, man, I know how hard that game can be and is. But, oh, man, it's so rewarding to stick to. I hear a grenade. I'm safe. Let's, uh, let's, let's chuck one. Let me see that. Let me see that head. I wish I could zoom in a little bit more, but that's okay. Maybe in the later games I get a scope or something. FPS over graphics if I have to choose, especially when it comes to fast-paced action games. Oh, yeah. Where frames make a difference. 100%. 100%. Yep. And most of the games that I see you play and the games that I play are like... Those games you, you definitely want. Like Neo, I chose the 120 FPS mode. Um, because, you know, if I can get 120 FPS on PS5, I'm going to take it. I'm definitely going to take that. Maybe it won't look as good, but again, we're talking about Neo here. Team Ninja is never really known for the graphics. Although I think, I think it's a beautiful game. But I think Uncharted 1 is a beautiful game, and you can see how old it is. But even these blades of grass, you know... It don't matter to me. It looks good. But yeah, I definitely agree with you. Watch your first Eternal video. You are on another level of spec. I appreciate that because I feel like a total noob. Because I'm trying to to learn the... um. I'm retraining the brain. and it, like Mentally, I know what I want to do. It's like if you ever played sports and you stopped playing that sport for a long time. Mentally, you probably feel just as sharp. You know, you're like, I know exactly what I would do if the, you know, if you're playing baseball or something, the ball's hit this way. I know exactly what I want to do. But physically, your body's like, nah, not today, buddy. Your back hurts or some shit. It's how I feel in Returnal. My brain is quick thinking. I'm like, do this, do that. Mentally I, or physically, I have to tell myself, click shift with your pinky. It's a weird feeling because on, on console with the controller, I'm just moving. I don't have to think second nature. I think we're going to be doing a parkour section here. Hmm. Maybe. Up. Oh, that looks like a conspicuous slanted thing. Maybe not. Team Ninja gets a bad rap. Their graphics aren't that bad, but their level design is a match 100%. Yeah, I think... I, shit, I want my thing there. I think they do get hated on a lot. I keep seeing that about Rise of the Ronin, man. People keep talking about Rise of the Ronin, PS3 graphics. I'm like, I think that's a little harsh. I don't know if that's true. Your controller player never got comfortable with keyboard and mouse. Um, I would say predominantly I am a, a controller player as well. But when it comes to... What am I even supposed to be doing? When it comes to shooters, FPS, even third-person shooters, anything, here we go, anything where we have to shoot, like even a game like this, I actually would prefer it. I would prefer a keyboard and mouse. I see what they're setting up here. Okay, it took me a little bit. Things like this, it takes me a little bit in this game. I'm not used to thinking like this. Last of Us, you're not doing this stuff. At least in one. Uh, but yeah, it, I, this it's so hard to... Fuck, fuck, fuck. What are we doing? We got a big boy. You can eat this nade. Well, how did that hit him? I'm losing my train of thought, but... Keyboard and mouse. Especially mouse. I can understand the keyboard thing. I gotta fix my chat box. Because your messages are getting cut off. On stream, I don't like that. We should all be able to see. Oh, why is that there? I thought I fixed this. That explains everything. Ain't no big deal. Easy fix. Boom. That shouldn't happen again. Right? Live stream fixing. That's what we do. Alert box is good. That's all I got. Cool. I'm starting to rise of the run in tomorrow. Yeah, I, I saw you say that in one of your streams. Expect it to be fantastic. Not going to let the haters influence my experience. Nope. That said, if it misses the mark, I'll be the first to call it out. Yeah, you definitely should. That's what I like. That's 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 how you should be. That's 
you know, have an open mind, form your own opinion, and if something is bad, call it out. On the same wave of, you know, people are hating on stuff before it even comes out, like this whole Dragon Dogma 2 versus Rise of the Ronin release thing. That was already annoying. But vehemently, like, or, you know, like blindly defending something is just as bad as just hating on something without giving it the time it deserves. But, uh,. From what I've heard, people like Rise of the Ronin. And people like Dragon's Dogma too as well. But it's funny how like pre-release that the the preconceived notion or the thoughts on that game kind of they swapped. Like Dragon's Dogma 2 was supposed to be so great. And Rise of the Ronin people said look stiff and bad and all this bad stuff. And then when the game actually released, it just felt like everything flipped. Oh uh, barnacles. Come on. No, get out of there. Clutch. For the most part, I hear good things about Rise of the Ronin. Like, it didn't, like, you know, change the game. It didn't reinvent the wheel or anything. But it was a good game. Have you ever played Ghost of Tsushima, though? That's my question to you. And I'm going to check out your Rise of the Ronin. Some of it. I don't... I, don't, I try not to spoil myself too much. Because I'm definitely going to be playing that. Unless you highly recommend it against it, then it's probably not worth my time. But I still got Neo 2 to go through and uh, Wo Long, which I'm definitely going to need to be watching your stuff on advice for that. That game intimidates me. I played the demo on PC. It's a different beast. Gotta start getting my Sekiro bag for that. Ammo... Team Ninja hasn't missed with me yet, so they get the benefit of the doubt. Uh, I have a hard time believing the combat won't be great. Me too. Yeah, that's 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 exactly what I'm thinking. We're on the same page with that. But like you said, it's it's the thing, and when the media is saying something, the casual kind of herd mentality will be to gobble it up and just run with it, without even forming your own opinion. Like people that would never even play Team Ninja games are just like spewing out garbage about how shitty it is and it's like like how can you even do that but that's what you do in 2024 you hate apparently that's what people do not a fan of it i've always been on the train of you know be cautious i'd say don't pre-order and form your own opinion not that those opin opinions are wrong they might be over the top, but you never know. Dark Souls 2 is a prime example of a game that was, if you look it up, people say the overall consensus is how bad it is, but it's one of my favorite Souls games. Like, I love it. I loved playing it. I had a great time with it. It could be difficult, but what game like that isn't? Hate gets responses and clicks. I have, I have played Ghost Beautiful Game. My only complaint is that some of the side content felt bloated. That's completely fair. I was in the train of I fell in love with it to the point where I didn't what the f I did not care what the game had me doing I just loved it in fact it's coming out on PC I I am more excited about that than Elden Ring DLC which I don't even know if I'm gonna play and uh, I think I'm gonna be doing a full playthrough of Ghost of Tsushima again on the hardest difficulty on the glorious PC graphics I should be able to run it really well and uh, play it. Okay, I'm running in circles here. Well, long as easy compared to Neo, you'll be fine. Really? Assuming if you buy into Wolong's like main gameplay loop with like the parrying, I mean, it took me a while to learn um, what's it called, Sekiro. But I got Sekiro. Like Sekiro is one of my favorite games. I actually platinum that game too. Not that a platinum really means anything. I only mean I only mention that just to say like I have a lot of experience in it. By no means am I like the world's greatest secure player, but I got used to that fundamentals. Ah, I just completely missed this. That swings this out here. Did I do that? I got tired of chasing those damn foxes around everywhere. Goes. <laughs> That's so funny because every time I find a fox, I like. <laughs> 
I love dumb foxes. I just started running around being like, fuck yeah, another fox. It was silly. I mean, you no, know, it didn't really add anything to anything. Uh, what was the other things you had to do? You had to like, do you had to do almost like Assassin's Creed parkour. And it took you on some wild journeys. I forgot what they were for though. Was it the Tory Gates? I don't know. I'm gonna rem I'm gonna replay it and learn it again. That's how much I loved Ghost of Tsushima. It's definitely like a top top ten game for me. Am I jumping to this? Soaking hot springs, chop columns. Up. Oh, the wood stuff I really loved. That was fun. That was the wrong decision, eh? Ah, we're going up again. We're going up again. I think we're going up again. Why is that one there? There's actually two directions. Should I go that way? Should I go this way? Parkour to secret places. The wood chopping was legit. Yeah, I had fun with that. It felt like um, Samurai Guitar Hero. As silly as that sounds. Okay, let's climb this and get some distance to make that jump. Before DJ Khaled made that famous, another one. Haikus. Yeah, haikus was, was I could have, like that I could have not done it that much. Oh, I actually platinumed that game too. And now that I think of it, I did everything in that game. I even did all the DLC, that was fun. I would say that I definitely could have played on a harder difficulty, but it got to the point where I was just enjoying it so much. But this go around on PC, I'm going to challenge myself and soak it all in. I see that if I went this way first, I probably won't have access to this chain. Yeah. Mm, I think. Yeah. Haikus. Not too crazy for me. What are we doing here? Up. Good job, Mr. Drake. This guy impresses me. Okay. Considering the fact that he can take like so many bullets and just keep going on. Thanks for playing, sir. Headshots is the name of this game, as is most games. Here we go. Hold on, hold on. This feels like they would sneak a collectible somewhere. Try to make me leave without finding it. I don't see any sparkles. Any shinies. Alright. Alright. I thought he was doing that with his hands. So I'm like, good luck. This is a little sketchy. The current objective for Nathan Drake right now is... Uh, I don't know, to be honest. This is a crazy adventure. On your way back home, I got some stuff for us to try tomorrow to detox all this food we've been eating. Oh, God. All this food we've been eating. We only had one big sushi meal. To be fair. Jeweled Golden Brooch. I really don't know what the hell's going on. So, it's been a crazy ride in this game. So far. The main goal, I think, we're trying to find El Dorado. Or the Golden Man. That's the main thing I've I've gathered. I've actually been taking notes, and uh, that's from what I gathered. That's what we're trying to do. It's hard to recount how exactly I got to this point with all the nuts stuff that's going on. Hey, Elena. Let's find a way to the harbor and hope the boat's still there. This is Chapter Ten, the Customs House. Oh, okay, we're at the Customs House. This is where she wanted to meet. Let me hydrate real quick. It's been quite, a, been quite an adventure. I love when, if you don't do anything, the stuff that Nathan does. They're kind of dorky. Okay. What did you say to me, woman? <laughs> Could you repeat yourself? Sounds like Stellar Blade is something that you're going to end up playing, Craig. 
if you do, that's a game that I'll watch you play until you, you know, sway me to a point where I'm like, damn it, I got to play it myself. What are we doing? We're just dropping here? Let's just drop. My brain overthinks a lot of things. Like, do I not want to drop down to this level yet? I'm still in a Neo mindset. I'm thinking of Team Ninja's map designs, which, like you said, are unmatched yet. From Soft and Team Ninja, in my opinion, are manifest. Oh. the upper echelon. Still seem to be in good shape. <laughs> hey, check this out. This looks right. Yes, yeah, Stellar Blade is sexist. Sailed from Cayo, Peru, <laughs> carrying 800 bars of gold, 1,200 silver emeralds, golden masks, ornaments. Whoa, reading 16th century Spanish? Not just a grave robber after all, huh? Right here. Gold statue. Weight, 20 arrobas. That's arrobas. 500 pounds. That's gotta be it. Wow. There you are. That's the statue. That okay. kind of gives me the creeps. Huh, that's the last entry. That somebody special? Mm. What? Oh, uh, yeah, I guess you could say that. Huh, I had you pegged as more of a woman in every port kind of guy. <laughs> Don't I wish. No, this was, uh, this was Francis Drake's ring. I, you know, kind of inherited it. <laughs> sick Parvis Magna? Greatness from small beginnings. Sick. It was his motto. Check out the date. 29th of January, 1596. One day after he supposedly died. Wait, what are these numbers right here? Coordinates, right off the coast of Panama. Oh, so that's how you found the coffin. Yeah, that's right. See, Drake left this as a clue to pinpoint the exact burial site. For someone clever enough to figure it out. <laughs> yeah, nice try. But we're still going for that boat. Yeah, I'm afraid this is as close as we're getting to El Dorado. Hmm. Interessante. Stellar Blade absolutely exceeded my expectations. The game's combat hooked me immediately. We'll be playing that the day it drops down. But of course, I'll only I'll really only be playing it for the T and the A. The uh the tactfulness and the and the action. Got it. Everyone else the same. <laughs> All right, she's she's hitting a power pose there. It's pretty cool. Exactly. Yeah, there's a lot of drama around that main character. It's so silly. I highly recommend you don't look into that. Oh, what the hell? So like enemy design a lot of repeated enemy designs. I have no issue with that, to be honest. I don't care. But it's a note. Like I said, you could tell it was an older game, and they were like, let's just reuse assets. We don't know if we're going to make this a series or not. Elena, get the hell out of my way. Okay. All right. Where did that... Oh, God. I want to get some melee in. I haven't punched somebody in a while. Okay, I see your shots. I don't see you. Let's go punch somebody. That's an Uzi. Not what I wanted. We're doing it. Dark Souls roll iframes. Square triangle. Okay, it's not doing the thing it taught me. There it is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you get iframes in this game, right? All right, I do see this thing behind me, and I'm going to click it like crazy, but I'm... Went to loot real quick. Quit being silly. 69, nice. Um, bodied. <laughs> yeah. They taught me in the beginning there's like a like a 
extreme combo square triangle square but it wasn't uh wasn't doing it but square 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 was a combo they taught me and that one i don't remember what it's called that's the bodied combo all right hold up well there's that thing and then there was a room up there so what was that room up there or did that lead me back around short-term memory Pretty, pretty good here on display. That's the room I came in. And then this just leads me around to here. Understood. Is this time? Oh, I don't see any boat, Nate. Looks like we missed our chance. No, there it is. On the other side of the harbor. Come on. Hey, you know what? Why don't I just wait here and you can uh pick you up? Swing around and come back and pick me up. <laughs> okay. What are you up to? Nothing. I just wanna, you know, stay here and get some more footage. I'll be safe. Too right, sketchy. Fine. But promise me you'll stay put. Whatever that means. You could tell it's older, but like if you look at her skin, maybe you can't see it on stream, but like if you look at her skin, you can see like, you know, the lines like on her skin. And I'm sure that's more of a remastered thing they added. It is cool to see. It took me so long to get through one door when I, all I had to do was shoot these giant padlocks. It was silly. They want me to just run, but they're probably going to be hiding a collectible somewhere. This water is beautiful. Let's just take a quick peek. I'm very appreciative of the very limited dynamic HUD. We're right back into the action. X. X? Spam X? I was not sure what I was doing. Should I just keep running? God damn. And he lives. Oh. Damn it. Uh, dude, so you can hit circle. Let it be known that you can hit circle and roll into a dodge or into a into a wall. But in that case, no, I rolled to my death. Hmm, what a shot. I, I bet I'd miss those locks in the door for a minute too. I always miss the obvious and, and expect things to be more um, wondrous. Is that a word? I've never seen that. You should see my tablet's principle play through. I mispronounce so many words. Okay, why am I not? It's circle. There we go. Why am I clicking R1? What game is R1? That's to reload. All right, we're going to make this jump. Yeah, having played many puzzle games and stuff, I expect things to be more... Why can I go down this ledge? More complex than they are. Is essentially what I'm trying to say. Should we ledge hop? Okay, no. He's not wanting that. All the sad men that love Sailor Bay because of the tits and ass they'll never get in real life is just annoying. How often do you see the men talking about tits and ass? All the time. Hey, let them love their tits and ass, babe. Whoa! I like how he's holding on with the gun hand. Sure. Nathan Drake exceeding all expectations. Trap. Who's this now? Chapter 11. Wait, that's not one of Eddie's. 
Well, I mean, the devs know what they're doing, but you also need to make a good game out of it. Because <clears throat> even the people that only play it for that, I think we'll also, we'll call it out for being a bad game. If it's a bad game. But the demo, the fact that they, an M4, I've been wanting this. Oh, that sounds fantastic. Okay, we need grenade help here. But the demo has been played by many people. I'm not gonna die. And it looks really good. You know, if it's a solid Souls-like experience, I might have to give it a try someday. This is a tricky spot. How am I still getting hit? You. The main issue here is dead. I don't like hiding behind a box that says caution. The audio is really cool in here too. I can, I'm hearing it bounce off the walls. Some more nades going on here. Boom. All the videos. Stellar Blade is the best game ever with a close up of the bite. Is that a thing? Have people done that? I haven't really seen it. Honestly, the only gameplay I saw was Craig, Craig playing the demo. I mean, I liked what I saw. It seemed like it had a pretty good... Um, what's, what, what was impressive with me was the training area. How you could train, be in like a training hub. Like you could really master your craft in that game if you wanted to. Yep, I'm not suffering for a craft game. I don't care what the characters look like. Oh shit, oh shit. We're good, we're gonna survive this. Where is he? Oh, you got detox juice? Who are you trying to juke? Yep, I'm not suffering through a crap game. I don't care what the characters look like. My wife has all I need on that front. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Good game is a good game. Whether the lead is ugly or hot. Doesn't matter. But yeah. I can't remember the last game. Actually, I do remember the last game. The last game that I actually had to quit because of how bad it was, was the original Lords of the Fallen. Uh, but because my backlog is so deep and it's typically filled with like uh, well-reviewed games, highly liked games that I usually don't have bad experiences when I do get to them. But <clears throat> I don't know if you ever played the original um, uh, Lords of the Fallen. Not the new one that came out, but back on PS4, that was like the clunky, it was like the clunky Souls. And Souls is already clunky, right? But, ugh, it was horrible. I couldn't do it. I had to put it down. I had to give it a rest. Let's pick up these MK1 or MK whatevers. There are definitely people exploiting the sex appeal for clicks. Oh, 100%. Dude, that's what, sex appeal has always gotten clicks since the dawn of time. Never played original or new one. I heard the original was really bad. It, I mean, I couldn't get through it, and I don't know. Yeah, yeah it was it was bad. It was bad. That's all I'm gonna say. I tried. I really did try to get through it because I wanted to beat all the souls likes that I had in my my backlog, and I just couldn't do it. Could not do it. What a jump. I heard the new one is better. I heard the new one was much better. Not performance. I heard the performance sucked. What new game doesn't have horrible performance? That's so new. I mean, so normal, unfortunately. Yeah, I would say the old one is not worth your time. I mean, it looked cool, though. The art style was sick. 
There's another fat dude. Shirtless fat guy. Oh, he has a shirt this time. How did you get here? You really need to see this. Now is really not the best time. No, Nate. What are you doing? You really need to watch this. It's just... Is it something about what? Sullivan? We haven't seen Sully in a while. And... It is Sully. Hello. He's alive. Sully, you chode. Her. How much do you trust this guy? It's not exactly like they're holding them at gunpoint. I, I know. Yeah, it seems weird. Oh, fuck, that scared the shit out of me. I thought you were still in here. But no. Sully's a lot of things, but he's not a backstabber. That's Which impressive. Which way were they headed? Uh, Northish. <laughs> yeah, towards the mountains. Okay. It's got to be the monastery. Monastery. Uh, what if it turns out he's working with them? We either rescue him or we beat the crap out of him. Hell, I might just beat the crap out of him anyway. Also fair. I checked out the new one when it came out and got busy playing other games. The dual realm view with the lantern is a unique concept. I like when games try bold new things like that. Yeah, I heard that is the umbral realm. The only thing that I also heard as a Valon complaint about that is it leads to like Oh no. It leads to being tedious. At least that's that's an opinion. That's a somebody's opinion. And I can I can see that, right? Because let's say you explore this whole area. Just this little section. And then you hold up the lantern and you do Umbral Realm and you explore it again. So you can imagine as these souls likes maps get so much bigger and expansive and they like to double back and add shortcuts that you may be exploring two times. You should have asked me for help. I didn't know you had all that shit. I would have paused this. I didn't know. What up? What's up with this? Oh, I, I was impressive seeing you come in with three fucking things of propel. God damn. I feel bad. I didn't know. You put these headphones on. You are lost in this world. Okay. It's kind of sketchy that this is like this, but I'm just going to say they want me to go up these stairs. Yeah, and I apologize for the bad gameplay. I am just distracted. Okay, I like that Elena has a gun. I don't know anything about her past, but the fact that she's game... Uh... Except she sucked at being a teammate. You could have told me there was a nade there, Elena. She got the hell out of there, so I should have took notes. No. Fuck. Here they come. All right, guy on the stairs is a problem. Was. Damn, he's perfectly dodging my bullets. It was great hanging out with you for a bit tonight, going to bed. Uh, Have an awesome one, my man. I appreciate it, man. Thank you so much for stopping by, Craig. It was a pleasure. Fuck this guy. I'll kill him for you. Okay. That is the most atrocious act of aiming I've ever seen. Atlanta, do your thing. Craig, I appreciate you, man. And uh, I'll try to stop by one of your streams if I see you go live again. Uh, but, yeah. Really appreciate you. Have a good night. Thanks for stopping in. Boom. Redemption. This is so cool. Peace out, brother. Okay, I got my I got my AK back with 90 bullets. This replaces my AK? Yeah. What I'm looking forward to what I'm hoping for in Uncharted 2. And this is hardly a critique, but just more variety in enemy designs. Synergy Raw Kombuka? What the fuck is that? Chia seeds. Chia seeds in my drink? No, thank you. I don't want crunchy water. That's fucked. Oh, I just threw a nade out of anger. On accident. <laughs> what the hell is that about? 
Why are there seeds in my drink? It's good for me. I like this coin. This is, says fill, fill up, fill up. Yeah, I'm not even going to waste my effort. It's embarrassing trying to read that. Okay, so this little section was for a collectible. You know what's cool about Craig is that he writes with such great uh, punctuation and like very complete sentences. I feel like you hardly see that on Twitch. And I just, I think that's a something that should be commended. Is that the right word? Or at least given acknowledge to, right? Like to me, yeah, like I like just acknowledge that. Like that's awesome. It is a joy for me to read really nice punct uh, you know, structured How English. Does something like this happen? See those scorch marks? But uh -huh. definitely check out Craig's streams. Somebody packed this place with enough gunpowder to blow it wide open. Ooh. He's legit gamer. Watch where you step. Some of these boards are really falling. <laughs> Can't let go of You've got camera. To let it go. Damn it. That was tense. Okay. Oh shit. It's okay. Come on. Your life versus the camera. Although, who knows? That could mean her life. Who kn I don't know who she's working for. Is this the other side? This feels weird. Okay. So, it looks like they're... No, we're not going to go down there. Let me check the time. Okay, we're doing good on time. We're about an hour into the stream, making good progress. Down seems not the way to go. Are they hiding any collectibles? Ah, they are. This is a silver Spanish chalice. This is cool. Cool reflections on it. I like how everything looks worn. Like, realistically. It was kind of like a... A knockoff Stanley Cup. 19 of 60, by the way. Not too shabby. I'm sure I missed a few. Like I said, I'm curious to see at in-game how many I ended up getting. I'll grade myself. Camera angle is super strange here. Ah. Uh, I think we're just jumping. It looked much further. See, my neo brain, my, my souls like brain says climb this tree and get an item at the end of it. But uh, I don't think so. And I promise I'm trying to look down, but the game is not letting me, so. I'm assuming the game is trying to tell me, not this way, bub. Not this way. Okay, there's no such thing as stealth in this game, is there? Oh, uh, this is awkward. Wait, what? Interesting how he just ate that. It definitely felt like a headshot. Perhaps not. To 90 is the max, eh? He, he, that went through the pillow. All right, I'm not even going to complain. Older game. Which is interesting. Oh, shit. There we go. More. 
Guy kind of looks like Edward Kelly. This is chapter 12, heading up river, right around the hour and five mark. Heading up river. So far, my least river favorite part right up to the monastery. was the jet ski. I'm really not too crazy about the jet ski. It Maybe I'm not doing it right. But it seems weird to drive, stop, shoot, drive, stop, shoot. Uh, it just kind of takes me out of the action. And I just suck at it. Okay, maybe that's just why. I just suck at it. It's all good. I got past it. So I can get past it again. Again, very minor critique. And that's a personal preference. Uh, left or right? The right seems to go against the current. Let's see what happens. Wait, it's going up river, right? Oh no, is it down river? Shit. What was the name of this chapter? What if they're hiding a collectible back here? Or will they just make the, it's so strong. Put me on the big screen. I am honored. I fixed the chat. Now hold on. There's barrels and shit here. Something seems weird about this. Let's go back down. And I'm just apologizing in advance for my garbage driving. And if I'm actually supposed to go up that way. As I've forgotten if it's going up or down river. This feels more right. Nope. 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 Okay. Like I said, I've already apologized in advance. Line playthrough. Curious brain. What can I do? Little movements are better on this thing, it seems. Oh my god. Oh. I hit my... No, 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 no! Got a nose itch. We no longer have a grenade launcher. I'm resisting the urge to say noob tube. That's the old one one for two brain. The good one. So maybe the mission was called going upriver. Like I said, short term memory. Not very good. I got unlimited ammo in this, so I might as well go crazy. We're getting up this. Come on, Nate. Come on, buddy. Oh my god, I suck at driving this. It's certainly going up river. There's an. Oh, fuck. Elena. I'm gonna act like that was her fault. She shot it. Being very safe as I don't want to do this twice. Come on, Nate, push it. You can actually. Oh, I thought you could hold down. We need to heal. I thought you could hold down R2. Is that a person? <laughs> Not even worth trying from that distance. Are we docking here, boys? No? Those are dead people. High level gameplay here. <laughs> no, fuck off, Nate. I'm doing that.
I'm doing the thing. Oh man, this is rough. I like the concept. I'm not crazy about the execution. And that has to do with 70% me and my driving skills. There's gotta be a challenge video out there of Uncharted 1 jet skis no hitting the a rock. Impossible challenge. I've never tried hard so hard in my life on something. Where is that coming from? Oh. Uh. Somewhere over the waterfall. Buddy! Oh shit! Now that's a surprise visit I did not expect. Buddy132, the RL legend, aka the rage quitting machine. I'm just kidding. Uh, what's up, dude? How are you been? I have not. Your bad luck. Get the fuck out of my stream. I'm totally joking. Uh, it's good to see you, man. Good to hear from you. How are things? You should, you know, I actually uninstalled Rock League. I reinstalled it today. I've been good. Uh, same, same. Busy, just playing some games when I have some time, streaming them. I beat Neo um, maybe last week, maybe two weeks ago. I don't remember. But super good game. Highly recommend it. And now I'm playing the Uncharted series. Uncharted 1, starting off with. It's a little bit rough right now. Oh. I'm glad that wasn't an insta kill at least. I'm trying to avoid explosive barrels. Yeah, a little hard. Oh, I don't think you're trash. You wouldn't you just need a good teammate like me. Yo, I'm completely going backwards right now. I recommend it so far. Like I said, older game. Very difficult right now. This section is challenging. I'm clearly going against the current here. But at least I have unlimited ammo. That's awesome. Funny death animations. It looks like he's jumping in himself. Now we should totally run some RL again. Even if we both suck, who cares? The point is, is that we could chat and play. That's what all that matters, you know? What games are you playing these days, if any? Okay. I really only reinstalled it to play with, you know, you and whoever else ever plays. This doesn't look like water anymore. Now it does. Okay. Actually, I might be around, so I will hit you up. But thanks for thanks for joining. I'm. Uh, it's nice to just hear from you. Thanks. RL's not the same without you and Chad. Set up to the monastery. Reward unlocked. This is this is uh, chapter thirteen, sanctuary. Around a minute fourteen. What was the bonus, or was it a reward? New skin. You've been playing Ghost Recon with some friends. Uh, Ghost Recon, what? Wildlands. <clears throat> Breakpoint. This isn't new. I've had this. It's not even be in the game. Well, then I don't care about these. 
Yeah, Chad's a busy guy. Uh, Breakpoint. I have Breakpoint on the console. I wouldn't touch it on there again, though. But I played a lot of Wild... What was the first one I said? Wildlands. I really enjoyed Wildlands. Because I went to that right after playing... <clears throat> Sorry. What's your, what is that game called? The Division. The Division. That was a great one, too. Yeah, but Breakpoint, Wildlands, those are fun co-op games. Glad you're playing that. With some buddies. If you like that style of game, you might like The Division. One and two. Well, I never played two, so I can't comment on two. But I loved one. Like that looter shooter type. It looks like this might lead me around. Actually, the bridge looks like it's the way. Which would probably mean they're hiding a, a collectible over here. Uh, maybe not. Damn, you played them both? Buddy's a real gamer. They're going to hide a collectible in this, aren't they? Should I draw? No. So you're back on the multiplayer grind. Hmm, that looks conspicuous. Never finished the second one, though. I've played the first a ton on PS4. Yeah, that's where I originally played it. And then I got it on PC. Did I tell you I built a new PC? Check my about on uh, on Twitch. I have like my whole battle station posted there, but it's a beast. It's a beast. It can run anything at 1440p, like max settings and uh, high frames. Yeah, I finally, I finally did it. I finally just, I just did it. You know what I mean? A little tax return, a little, a little money. We're looking for hidden collectibles. So far, no dice. Yeah, now I can um, rage quit on Rocket League in much higher frames. <laughs> Hold on, before we get down? into this. One of Eddie's goons could be up ahead. That's Eddie Roja, or Roja. Clowns in the dust ages ago. Oh my god. That's disgusting. Oh, I wish I had my camera. Mm. So what? The Spanish booby trapped the island to protect their gold? This wasn't made by the Spanish. Take a closer look at the spikes. You have got to be kidding me. This is from our plane. Wait, that doesn't make any sense, though. Why would someone set traps like this when their own men are crawling all over the island? They wouldn't. Something's been here since a trap was sprung. Something or someone. The fuck? Do you think Shh. that... Do you hear that? Hear what? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Dinosaurs? We're being watched. Watched? Yeah, you know what? It's probably nothing. I mean, I know it's not Let's dinosaurs. Let's just get out of here before we run into whatever's been chewing on this guy. Okay. But it had like two toes. Like it was split. That's a fucking dinosaur. I think. Or oh, really fucked up human. Uh, how much did it cost me? Dang, you owed some taxes. Got no return. That sucks. Uh, but... Really not that big of a deal. Yo, what's this? A, is it gold? It's just a better... It, has, it can hold more bullets. Uh, it cost me in total probably... Well, it depends, right? Because I bought some of my build early, but I, I would say total like 2800 Around there. And we're talking about including the monitors I bought. Uh, other peripherals, but like the PC itself was probably like 2400 But you obviously need monitors, so... I got mine 150 each, two of them. 
Okay, I'm a little sketched out here. Nah, it's not too bad. But I mean, again, it can run anything I throw at it on ultra settings at like native 1440p, which was the goal. Well, what the fuck are we doing here? This looks like a dead end. Okay, I thought I had come from this direction, so... Over here. Fuck, fuck. Oh, this thing is stronger. Oh, I'm in, I'm in loving it. I'm loving it. Uh, and that's the other thing is that I can play these games. This is on console, so it doesn't really stress the PC out at all. But even when I play a highly intensive uh, PC game, I can still stream it and record it with no issues. Like, it's just such a beast that it's no big thing. Roll to evade laser targeting. These guys have laser sights. Uh... Am I supposed to stop and shoot him while I do this? Okay, clearly. Duh. Okay, new enemies. New enemies. Also, that's a desert eagle. Nate, that's not a hiding spot. My God. So there seems to be some sort of military-esque mercenaries, perhaps. Say hello to my little friend-esque people. What are we doing here? The game has switched up halfway through. And now that we have... Laser seeking people. Uh, I don't know. Very military ass. Should I be picking up the Desert Eagle? Is it another like? We're, yeah, it's another. Look at this Roman gun. Navarro can't be far off if they've left their attack at the gate. It's hard to justify though, this swap. Because I have so much more bullets in this upgraded nine at mil. At least I'm calling it an upgraded nine mil. I don't know if it really is. And we get the M4 now. Do I have laser sights? Apparently not. Nah, like Deagle is sick, but it only had seven bullets. Exactly, ammo is king. Plus, I've been getting kind of nasty with... Uh... Fuck, hit the wrong button. I'm so sorry. I've been getting, been getting kind of nasty with the headshots. So I'm saving a lot more ammo. Is that ammo? Alright, I'm going to ditch the AK for the M4. Hold on. How much can I actually hold of this? And yes, this is as fast as I can run. First game of the series. Take it easy. Okay. Okay. Maybe it is worth it. I thought I could only have seven. That'll come in handy. Dude, I mean, we're talking 10 versus 59. I, I can't. I can't justify it. I'm sticking with the 9 mil. I'm sorry. No, I'm not. Not sorry. One bullet. Check every corner. Everything. Because you know they're going to be hiding a uh, collectible. Because those matter very much. So, damn, buddy. What are you up to? You just like saw me streaming. You're like, I'll stop in. I hadn't heard from you in a long time. It's good to hear from you. Whoa. Cutscene with black bars. I want the library secure. Don't let them get to Sullivan. Yes, sir. They've got the old man working on the east side of the complex. I don't even know where they brought him along. That son of a bitch can't be trusted. Okay, so they have Sullivan, and we do that. And they... They can't trust him. And they know about us, and to not, they don't want us to get back together. Interesting stuff. Yeah, man, about to go to bed. Wanted to check on your stream for a bit. Glad to talk to you a bit. 100%. I'm glad. Thank you for stopping at me. It's a lot. Even if it's just for a little bit, just to say, hey. It means a lot. But yeah, hit me up, or I'll hit you up. Whatever, you know, if you're not busy. Maybe we can run some games. Who gives a shit about the results? Let's just get back out there on the pitch, my man. The M4 is nice. I need more ammo, though. I guess we're jumping down, eh? Hey! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. So roll and shoot quick. 
Okay, not bad. I don't know how panicky I need to be. It feels like I'm kind of panic rolling. I mean, I certainly am. I just don't know how much I need to do it. Can we get some more M4 ammo? A lot of Desert Eagles. Here's some M4 ammo. Chuck the mag. Sounds good, man. Have a good stream, bro. We're going to sub to your channel. I don't know how streaming works. Um, so are you on your phone or computer? You just click my name and then you'll go to my page and then you, I think you click follow. Yeah, they're called followers on Twitch. So Nate, I've got a bad you don't sub. This place. I think you uh, can uh, sub, but that costs money. Let's and I don't even know if I have that set up. Don't do that anyways, but just, just click follow. And then linked there is my YouTube. You can click on that and you can subscribe to that. You son of a bitch. All right, look, that was an, an, an uncharted joke. They'd be saying son of a bitch a lot. Oh, you already followed me. Good, good, good. Yeah, there's like a little bell. You can get notified. If you... Eh, you don't really, it doesn't really matter. But, oh, what are they doing? Yeah, this is getting more intense. Like, harder. Bigger zones, harder enemies. I like the progression. Somebody... But I appreciate it. Thank you already for following me. This is why I have the M9. I definitely have a hard time seeing enemies. Right, fuck this. I gotta get closer. Alright, buddy. You're gonna head out. Have a good night. I appreciate it, man. You too. You have a great night. Thanks for stopping in and uh, hit me up this weekend. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh God. Wrong button. Panic clicking. For show. For show. Where's Elena? She does not have my back at all. Bruh. Gotta hit my shots. Okay, Elena, can you stick with me? I like my partners in Neo much more. So there's bombs here, so I definitely don't want to stick around here. I'm hitting that. That's obvious now. Oh no. Other way, Nate. You gotta be kidding me. I'm focusing up. He did have an M16 or M4, I mean. I should be able to get some ammo from him. Okay. I think this is going much better than the first time. Maybe. So some sort of militia or mercenary vague to, to, to give a vague term, you know, some sort of military-esque enemy. I guess we were meant to not know exactly who they are yet. That scared me. I'm not going to lie to you, Elena. I 
hear somebody else around this corner. Three, two, sound whoring. He's over there. That's right. Thanks for playing, sir. All right, let's get re up. Is this a path? Maybe not yet. This is getting nuts. Desert Eagle could be a good choice. What is this leading me to? Hmm. To be honest, I didn't even see this. I thought I was going to go to that door. And then what, we're jumping to the wood? I can't believe you can make these jumps. It's this... Spectacular. Wait, what was below, though? I don't necessarily want to drop again unless I see a shiny down there. Which I don't. Where's Miss Elena? Maybe I'll open that door for her. Heal her. I don't trust shit right now. Overall, this seems like a much more uh, chatty stream tonight. The music is getting crazy. Um, let's take a quick break here so I can go run to the bathroom and then we're going to continue this craziness. So, BRB. When nature calls, am I right? All right. Let's continue this journey. Turn this fan up. Ah, oh, air. All right, so we actually have been doing pretty decently well. Uh, is it worth jumping across? Are they hiding a collectible here? Or else why is this here? Kind of forgot what I've done. But this is the way. Jump, 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 or jump, jump, jump. What is that noise? I think I saw a sparkle down there. That's a weapon. It sounds like a cricket. Talos 2 had better cricket noises. Window jump? Should I just be dropping here? That feels wrong. Let's jump across. Let's drop. Ah, ah, I see. Elena, get away from the wall. Okay. Thanks. Yeah, I tried my best. Oh, there you are. Your old silver cross. We have an intermediate fortune hunter. Find 20 treasures. That one looked pretty cool, actually. You are the intermediate fortune hunter. Okay. They're repeating it. Skadoo do 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 do. That is my BRB music. <laughs> Stuck in my head. Okay, we're gonna spam that there, but first, what's this? One more bullet. I'm not getting a lot of M16, M4 ammo. Maybe the more mercenary guys we see. Here, I'll hold that while you brace the gate open. While I brace it open with what? Okay, uh, go. Gently. Ah, I said gently. That's super sketchy. Also, broken shoulder for sure. Huh. The fact that we can walk here right away is... Oh my god. Silver toothpick for when you need to... That's a toothpick. Good luck. Anyway, I'm getting shot at right now. 
Dude. Dude. Jump. Just keep rolling. Just keep rolling. Dragon Sniper. Didn't I mention Dragonov? Didn't I say that? Where was I talking about a Dragonov? Yo, this is nuts. I don't know when I was talking about a Dragonov, if it was this series or not. But I definitely mentioned having a special weapon. Eh, it doesn't go down, though. It's not the down button. Sometime I said that, though, I swear to you. up Elena well at least I see what happens when you shoot that Fuck. they're a bit smarter oh shit All right, we need to get some guys out of here quick Now, I know I need to use this dragon sniper. Elena, a little fucking elf would be super cool. Okay. That it was an accident. Where is this guy? Yo, you heard me shoot, right? That was a tie. Tie goes to the runner. In this case, him. Yes. Yes, this is what I'm doing. It seems so much further. This is a bad situation to be in. Get down, get down, get down. Okay. Alright. I know. Let's retrieve this dragon off again. You are not slick, my friend. Gotta hit your shots, you gotta hit them quick. Alright. I think I think we're doing okay. So far. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't let him get past. Damn, I'm dropping him. Elena, you scared the shit out of me. Announce your presence. This feels very... That must be the library. Over there. Well, we're not gonna waltz right in the front door. Let's find another way in. Let's scope things out. Hold on. This actually feels like progress, so I would like to explore. If we could do that. Look for some... Get Well, loot the bodies. You know? Look for collectibles. Hydrate. There's the M79. Um, God, she scares me every time. I think we're safe to drop the Dragonov now, hopefully. Which, by the way, I'm just completely calling a Dragonov. Four grenades. I need to remember that. Why is the music getting sussy baka? Truthfully, I have no idea what that means. I just saw the actor from Breaking Bad say it a few times. 
on a cameo. And I love how it sounds. This is a conspicuous room. Aha. Silver coat to Mundi. Coat to Mundi? What is that thing? What the fuck is that? It's like a fucked up duck dog. Excuse my language. Nah. The story's getting crazy. So, these military type people have Sullivan. They don't seem to be having him in handcuffs or anything. Right now, I think we're supposed to try to think that Sullivan is shady. I think we're supposed to believe that he's working maybe with these people. And then we had that interesting dialogue with the two guard dudes saying, you know, don't, we can't let them get close. So they know about us, obviously. This is a gold Spanish chalice. Which differs slightly from the silver Spanish chalice. Um, don't let them get near the guy. Now, why is that? Right? That's the whole thing. We don't know. So Sullivan's still a mystery, but one thing that's solved is that he's not dead. Sullivan is not dead. I didn't think he was dead. We hardly even know anything about him. I would have kill him off right away. So, lots more to learn and figure out. Oh, shit. She worked in this little bar in the Philippines. Speaking oh, of. Man. She had a smile that would melt your heart. Bro, I swear to God, she just as soon kill you as kiss you if she caught you stepping out. Just a wee bit of a thing. She couldn't have been much more than 4'11". They called her the spinner because she... Will you shut up, old man? You told us that one a dozen times already. A spinner. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> I want to hear the end of that. Memory's not what it used to be. What the hell's taking you so long anyway? Well, maybe you hadn't noticed, but most of these books are half rotten and written in Spanish. Yeah, well, hurry it up. The boss is waiting on you. Hey! Up there! Ah, oh, crap. Mm-mm. Oh no. Uh. Oh crap. God damn, could I have a chance to swallow? This is a bad spot. Shit, it was a How is that dude still standing? I like, I like the physics. Is where I came in from? Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Did I take everybody out that's up here? It looks like it. Nope. Oh, no, that's Elena. We're good. Glad she's in the fight still. So is it time to drop? Or are they hiding a collector up here? Like the ringing in my ear because of a bomb exploded. That's it's crazy. It actually sounds really. Sounds like my ears ringing. Oh, there's a ladder right there. What is this? More nades. I missed that. Desert Eagle? Is this a usable... Fuck, 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 fuck. Okay, I thought something was wrong. Well, you're looking awfully good for a corpse. So you brought the girl after all, huh? The girl? Hey, if it wasn't for her, you wouldn't be getting rescued right now. If this is a rescue... What the hell does that mean? You gotta admit, Sully, this all looks a little shady. Yeah. I mean, you tipping those guys off. And miraculously showing up alive. Now, wait a goddamn minute. Roman had a contract out on me. I needed to buy some time. All right, stupid mistake. I 
Didn't realize they'd try and track us. Sully, we would have been headed home with the treasure by now if you had just for once kept your mouth shut. And you might have thought of checking for a pulse before running off and leaving me for dead. Look, none of that matters now. I didn't have all time. Right, so how is it you're standing here breathing and all, huh? <laughs> you are not going to believe this. Huh? <laughs> no way. <laughs> Old Francis took a bullet for you. Yeah. I thought this kind of thing only happened in the movies. Yeah, well, Sean the Great like with the raid. <laughs> My man. Once they Thank you so much, Sean. Dead, I convinced Roman that they would never find the treasure without me. So I've been trying to mislead him ever since. How was your stream? Well, where are they now? Well, they're chasing a little red herring I sent him on on the other side of the monastery to get rid of him. <laughs> Old Sully. Drake had it all figured out. See, that's the symbol the Spanish use to mark their secret vaults. The two keys. The treasure is hidden right here in this monastery. Find the symbol, and we, we find, find the vault. vault. We have everything we need right here. It's never that simple. All the clues to take us right to the treasure. We can do this, kid. <laughs> all right. You boys aren't going to get all chummy and leave the girl behind again, are you? <laughs> Don't even think about it, Sully. She's got a mean right hook. I'll keep that in mind. There's more to this room than meets the eye. I'm sure of it. Hmm. Something about these statues. Puzzle time. So sorry I didn't I was I didn't like to talk through the um the cutscenes there, but thank you so much, Sean, for the raid. I appreciate it. How was your stream? And uh, that game you were playing looked really interesting. My name is Pablo or something? Or my friend named Pablo? Watching you play that, that was sick. It reminded us of a game called... Uh, what the hell is it called? Super... I forgot what it's called, but it was a VR game as well. Shit, I can't remember. Al, if you're still there, what the hell is it? But it's cool, though. The game looked really cool. He said something about these statues. So we have a... And we have an angel. We have an eagle. We have a lion, or so it seems. And then a dragon, I think. Now, why are they relevant? What can we do? We can get up to them. Hold. Okay, so it's another sequence of I should be looking here. That says Matthew, I think. John, Luke. Perhaps that says Mark. Hmm, okay. Now, I think the gunshot is simply just a... A detail. I don't think it actually matters. Nor we know it has a compass and it has the names. So that maybe they should be facing in that direction. Let's see what holding this does. Does it rotate this thing? Okay. Ah. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, there's a compass down there. Oh, that's not right. All right, Try yeah. Try checking I, the diary again. Shut up. I know what I'm doing, okay? Take it easy. All right, so this is Matthew, even though it looks like a chick. I don't care about the name. But they should be facing north. And north is my way, so I need to turn it around, I imagine. Nope. I'm just trying to get the controls down. Okay, it's much easier to just hit left real quick. Uncharted puddles have my brain working too hard. <laughs> well, at least Uncharted 1 so far it seems... Well, I don't know if I'm doing it right yet, but it seems relatively simple. The first one was kind of simple, but yeah, this is the first game, so it doesn't seem like crazy deep. But we'll see. I could be completely wrong with what I'm doing. This is the eagle, John, and John is facing to the east. And the east is... Come on, hurry it up, Nate. Yo, we don't yo. have much time before they realize something's wrong. What the hell are you talking about? Also, I've just been having internet issues. Sorry for the slow reply. No problem, man. 
So far, Nate didn't say that's not right. So we'll see if I'm doing it right. This is the line. That sucks about your internet issues, man. Something with your ISP, if I had to, if I had to guess. So this is the lion. And the lion's name is... I think that says Mark. I can't tell. Uh, but they're facing to the west. And the west is... Wait, what? North, south, east, and... Why the fuck does that say O? Oh. Am I tripping? They just like the yap. <laughs> they like to make me feel dumb. Uh, I don't know what... There's a saint over there. Well, that is interesting, actually. It says north, and then there's a saint, like a, like a New Orleans Saints-type logo. Um, maybe I'm tripping, but I guess I'm going to point it not that way, but this way. And then the dragon, the dragon, Luke is facing south and that would be that way. So let's see if I did this correctly. I did. Bingo. Secret door. Awesome. Okay, not a bad puzzle. In terms of puzzle complexity, that was probably a one. With the hollow in Talus Principle 2 being a 10. Also... I kind of want to have a torch. That looks awesome. This, re this is reminding me of uh, the Tomb Raider. This is crazy. So we are in oh, another library. Huh? What now? And the library. I'm looking around every. Oh, another puzzle. Perhaps. I'm looking around for collectibles. So far, not so bad. Or I haven't seen any is what I meant to say. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There it is. Golden cup and cover. This is an interesting object here. All right. Yeah, if you're not following Sean the Great, go give him a follow. He streams on YouTube and Twitch. You know, Multi this looks streamer. familiar. Hold up, what's Nathan talking about? Look, I'm gonna check my diary in a second, okay? Give it a shout out here, Nate. Give him a follow. He's been playing Neo, but he also plays a bunch of other games. And a uh, pretty damn good fighter, fighting game player. How do you even refer to that? I don't play fighting games, as you can tell. Okay, let's solve this next puzzle. This isn't part of it, and this isn't a part of it. So it looks like it's just these things. So what's next? I'm, I am trying to hit the thing. Here we go. The inverted torch leads to the land of the dead. The inverted torch leads to the land of the dead. The fire is facing down. So this one, the fire is facing up. Okay, we inverted it. And how about this one? It's the same thing. Complexity is one. Wow, oh, this looks promising. Here, let me see that. Yeah. Okay. You two sit tight. I'm gonna check things out. Whoa, wait, no. You're not going out there alone. Yeah, Roman's men are swarming all over this place. Yeah, and one person will make a lot less noise than three. Come on, I'll be fine. And you guys will be safe here. They don't even know about this room. Okay, take this with you. Leave it on channel 13. They don't use that one. And keep us posted. All right, you got it. 
Close this thing back up. Yeah. Nate, be careful. <laughs> Come on. I'm going into. I always am. Ah! I did not see that. <laughs> ah. Uh, he is such a dork. That's a funny guy. Is this another chapter? Okay. This is chapter 14. The dead. Going underground. Here we go. And this is actually where I'm going to wrap things up for episode three. Uh, thank you so much for the raid, Sean. I've been going for about two hours. I think this is a good place to end it. We started on chapter eight. We're finishing at the beginning of 14. So it's a lot of progress. And I think this is a good place to continue in episode four. We're going underground. Uh, this is this things are starting to, to ramp up a little bit. I don't really know like there's so much shit going on, but At least we're back with Sully and now We're going into the depths of this library which keep it which keep having like Trap doors and secret doors and the puzzle complexity is is it's not there Yet I had a harder time shooting a lock on a door than the actual puzzles but the hardest one so far was that grenade in the sewer. I struggled with that. But, yeah. Maybe maybe they'll get harder. I'm sure they're going to get harder in the subsequent games. So, yep. That's going to wrap up episode three. Sean, again, thanks for the raid. Craig, it was a pleasure chatting with you. Buddy, thanks so much for stopping by. Al, as always, thanks for hanging out with me. And, uh, yeah, until next time, peace.